welcome back to the fourth day of my cute little hedgehog cards for Heart Kids Hawks Bay. Uh, all the links will be down the bottom of the video, um, including the um, hedgehog hollow link to their website. Um, so I got the August kit with the cute little hedgehogs in it this month and yeah, if you were wanting a kit, I would get in quick because once they are gone, they are gone. So today I'm going to be doing sending hedge hugs. So I did this cute little, um, we'll say, boy one. So now I'm just going to do a girly one. Um, I had a chat to the family support worker today and she said, more birthday cards. So I'm trying to do a few more than just five a week so once I've done these I'll be into birthday cards I think so what am I doing I'm going to stamp these images out first okay so I'm using the Tim Holtz stamping platform and I'm going to use on this card here I just used um, silver just because I thought it would be fun colors to go with the washi tape that I've put on there so I'm just going to do the same similar sort of thing as I did with that card. Okay, so I'm going to use a Versafine Clear Nocturne ink pad. It's a new one and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm finding I'm only needing um, to use it once. Stamp it or stamp it once. And it's good for watercolouring and for um, embossing powder, which is quite cool. I'm going to use rose gold on this one just for something different so what I'm going to do with the card is I'm actually going to use washi tape which is what I used here on this one and just I've got some really pretty pink stuff that I thought would look quite cute on this one so I will that down I just find it up on my card try and get it in the middle And I'll just use my ruler to just get it on straight with my bubbles. Oh, that was well done, wasn't it? Lucky my banner will be covering that. That's okay. Cool, and I'll just flip it over and just trim it from the back. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to um, cut out this bit into a banner like this one and also cut this into a circle. Hopefully I can do that with that little guy there. So I'll do that and I will come back. Hello everyone, so I'm back and I've done my um, die cutting. So I couldn't <clears throat> do it the same as I did the other ones because of where I'd laid it on the card, but that's okay. We don't always want it to be the same as the other one. Okay, so I'll just start putting this together. Just put some tape on there. I'm just going to line it up with the edge there and just cut around it. That's what I did with the other one.
How cute is that? It can go up there. Or it can go over there. Doesn't really matter. So I'll just colour in the hedgehog. So when I was cutting the banner and the circle with the dies and my Big Shot machine, I actually found a little flower die and I thought that would look quite cute above her ear. So that's what I decided to do, is just glue that on. So with the banner and the circle, or with the banner, I just adhere that on with the tonic funky tape runner that was in the uh, kit and I used some adhesive foam tape just to pop that circle up and just give it a bit more dimension on the page. I wasn't overly happy with the hedgehog being in rose gold because it actually took away some of the finer features of her face so I did try to make that stand out a bit more by using a black pencil um, and a pen but yeah it didn't quite work because obviously the bossing powder was there but all in all it still looks super cute and to be fair I'm very picky so yeah just let, let me know what you think whether you like the rose gold or not um, in the comments that would be cool so in the banner there's actually a bit of stitching that was already in the die so I've just gone over it with a black pen just to make it stand out a bit more and to make it look cohesive I actually went around the the pink circle and just uh, yeah drew black line to make it look like it had stitching around it as well um, because obviously that die didn't have it on there um, and that's what I did with the blue card as well so I want to thank you all for stopping by today and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see the rest of the week's hedgehog videos or any other videos from me make sure you subscribe to my channel okay guys hopefully I'll see you next time bye